What's up, everybody? So today, I want to talk about mindset shifts that you need to scale your business to seven figures. The first and foremost important thing that you need to know is to understand that abundance is out there. There's abundance. You need to have an abundant mindset. If you think that everybody's your competition, you're already done for. You do not want to have the thought process that everybody out there is competition. You need to realize that there's more than enough out there for all of you. You need to make sure that you understand everybody can get their slice of the pie if they're willing to work. The second thing is, is you need to realize that money is everywhere. You can make great money and um, don't let that stop you if you don't have money. Uh, you know, if you find the right property, that cash flows really, really well. The banks will give you the money. And if you don't have the down payment, you find the right property that will do really, really well. Somebody will come up behind you and partner with you, JV, and or help you along the way. So don't let money stop you. The money's out there if the deal is out there. It's got to cash flow really, really well for it to work out. Third thing is, is the deals are out there. Just like I said, there are still deals out there, even though that rates are high and things like that are going on. Um, the deals are out there and still can be found. I just found a property for $400,000 that would net $15,000 a year, net $15,000 a year. For some of you, that might be life-changing. Deals are still out there and it's still like a 20% cash on cash return on investment, which is actually probably fairly decent for today's time. So realize that the deals are out there. Also realize that this is not easy money. You know, not only do you have to have an abundance mindset and realize that the money's out there and that the deals are out there, but you need to realize that short-term rentals are not easy. It's not, it's not hard, but it's not easy. You're going to be working harder than most people in other areas of real estate investing and different asset classes. At the same time, you don't have to have experience. A lot of people think that you have to have experience. It's the people who are out there doing the daily works. They are out there. They're not just trying to gallivant. They're patiently aggressive. Like I said, they are making sure that the numbers works. They are trying to make the deals happen. They're not just kind of doing it on the side. So you need to realize that you have to be active in this business. Don't let you thinking that you're going to get rich and short-term rentals are sexy and that you're going to have to, you're, you're going to have a property that is going to make you mailbox money. It's not the case. If you want to grow this business to a seven figure business. You want to grow your net worth to seven figures. Plus you've got to get out there and do the work. Ain't nobody going to do it for you. Nobody cares about you in that way. You and your spouse, maybe you and your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your kids, but nobody else cares about you. Also, another thing that you've got to do to realize is that you have to, maneuver. You have to pivot. Anything can go wrong at all times. So you have to be quick to pivot. That's what gets people to seven figure businesses. That's what gets people to seven figure net worths. You need to have finances available and so on uh, and or a partner that does, you know, have those kind of finances. Another thing is, is people that are creating seven figure businesses, they realize that despite what the economy is giving them, that is not their economy. They go back to that abundance mindset. Well, if the current interest rates aren't working, how can I make creative financing strategies work for me? And they kind of work through those subject to mortgages. You know, we've had a lot of problems in our business over the last 20 years. Nothing was built easily. We'll just go back to that saying nothing was built easily. And we've had our share of problems over the years from lawsuits to systems breaking down to properties backfiring, contractor issues, this and that. You got to expect that stuff is going to backfire. So people that think that you can, you can build your portfolio, not have problems. You want to minimize risk and this and that maybe real estate isn't for you. If you really want to scale it to a seven figure net worth and a seven figure income business, you need to expect problems. So what does that mean? You've got to be prepared. They get around like-minded people like Facebook group, like podcast. You stay involved with those people and you connect, you network, you find people and you become part of a community. They actually plan. They plan accordingly. They've got goal setting that they put together and they, you know, attack those goals one after another. Set yourself milestones, set yourself with a vision, a 12 month vision, a five year vision, a 10 year vision, a retirement plan, set yourself with a plan. Another thing is know your numbers, profit first, know what you want to accomplish and go after it hardcore. Don't buy property just to buy property, just because the numbers do make sense. Buy properties that actually fit the cash flow that you want to build on your portfolio. Make sure that the numbers make sense. Like if you have a quarter million dollar a year income goal, 
then don't go buy 25 homes that's going to pull in ten thousand dollars a year get maybe 10 to 15 homes that are going to pull in twenty five thousand fifty thousand net you want to make sure that you hit your goals but hit them realistically and don't overkill yourself in the process make sure that you are profiting with the properties and the right properties i appreciate you guys thank you guys so much